could use the clicker to undo the horror story. I need to get back to Bright Falls, to Casey and Wake. I should check in with Casey. Damn. All right. Well, they did some damage to us, which is unfortunate, but... I mean, other than the damage that was done to us, looks like we're doing fine. Oh, I can heal myself here, can't I? Nice. All right, we still have some, uh, we still have some ammo for this. That's nice. All right, so we still don't have bolt cutters, so we'll need to come back here afterward. But I think we have pretty much everything else. Let's head back to the uh, trailer park really quickly to see if it's still flooded. Come on, Casey. No answer. David. Pick up, pick up, pick up. It's the sound of a busy line. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David, can you call me back, please? It's urgent. Please. Why isn't David answering? Because you have a right? divorce. How does this all work? Has a horror story already gotten her? Wake should know. Don't forget to use a janitor's bucket in the janitor's break room to alternate between characters. Alan and Saga stories can be played in whatever order you choose. I think that it should have just made us alternate back and forth between them. That would have been pleasant. But yeah, uh... Despite this, I think the flooding's lowered. Nice. I should look around, see where the water was hiding. Bolt cutters, preferably. Uh, I think that in this version of the story, it's going to be like they got a divorce Another because their kid died. Box. All right, I just need to find a key. Yeah, break into that house. Nice. Man, the crossbow really lifts some weight, huh? What is this? William Portman to Joel Skarsgård. Thank you for your proposal. Starlight Symphony sounds like a wonderful project and a very creative idea. However, our publishing house will unfortunately have to decline at this time. We wish you all the best in the future. Keep dreaming. Keys. I moved the keys somewhere. The flooding can't wash them away. The spot might be hard to reach, but I'm sure you can get your hands on them just fine. Megan, please just let me know you're okay. I miss you. Uh, I don't need to know where you are, just that you're okay. Please reply to me. You owe me that much. So the keys are going to be high up somewhere. The pie in the sky is the moon. Got it. Uh-oh. All right, we got to find where these keys are. There's some place the flooding won't reach. Where are they then? They're up there, I think. Must be locked from the other side. Ooh, is there going to be a uh, a lunchbox back here somewhere? Cuz that would be pretty rad. I like that the game gives us the, this time to just like explore after everything is done where it's like, hey, you did the thing. You earned this. It's like, thank you. I did earn this. I've been a very good boy. This is a huge mobile home. This is nice. Charlie Symphony, hair covering logo. Does hair does hair do in this space? What is Rocket connected to? Move foot out for better silhouette. 
make text big, maybe more eye-catching font choice. Hmm. A literal space opera sci-fi musical with an alien love triangle murder mystery. Aliens meets rear window. Sunshine meets the sound of music. Musical parts drawn in black plus white. Negative colors. Singing is rhyming. R rhythm is visual. Break the fourth wall. Go all out. This is going to be my best work yet. That sounds terrible. I'm sorry. If I were an editor, I also probably wouldn't pick that up. That sounds just really over the top. It, you focus, please. Do one thing really well. Don't do 27 things really poorly. Some place the flooding can't get. Would it be on this boat, maybe? No. Please clean up after yourself. Bear doll. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so there's probably gonna be a nursery rhyme around here and there's gotta be a key somewhere. Those are the two things we absolutely imperatively need to find. Child doll, okay. Nothing in that container. Another one of those rhymes. The old fisherman had great luck. His catch at sea was beyond belief, but the hungry guest found relief in the fisherman's bountiful truck. Doesn't make sense. Uh, hungry guest found relief in the bo uh, fisherman's bountiful truck. I assume that's going to be the bear doll that we just found, right? But what is the old fisherman? It's got to be the elder doll, right? Ah. Uh. Maybe we put the bear here. And then the old man here. Yeah. 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 Okay. We got it. What the hell? Oh, just lots of dead fish. Cool. I'm gonna need a bigger charm bracelet. Increases quality and quantity of resources found. That's pretty cracked. died oh god we died how'd that happen yikes that's really bad well <laughs> huh. okay oh, saved for damn. us i was worried we were gonna have to go collect all this stuff all over again Bullseye, baby. I'm gonna need a bigger charm bracelet. Let's go, Saga. Let's go. Where are we right now? Why does it say there's investigation stuff there? Is it just because we, we did that stuff already? 
Trailer Park stash key. Wait, what? Why is this marked on the map? That's just like over here, isn't it? Oh, is it just up there? Hanging on this or something? We just see it before and just not know where it was? Oh, I see, we have to climb up. And then it's somewhere? There we go. That's fun. The woods will swallow you whole. Swallow my whole, woods. What? You said it. Oh, I got an arrow back. All right. That's good. The woods can't handle me whole. That's what Kettle Chips just said. He said that, not me. Take it out. Take, take it up with him. He's the one responsible for that. <clears throat> Lost Cat. Hello, my name is Tibbles. I went on va missing on 819, was last seen in the vicinity of Oh Dear Diner on Monday. Please keep an eye out for me. I am very good boy, and my humans miss me very much. Answers to nothing. Name Tibbles. <laughs> Reward on return. Is that an actual email? Tibbles best boy at gmail.com not a real one poor tibbles lost forever lost but not forgotten am i right i am resource rich yum eat them resources We'll put that charm away, I think. I like my charms currently. Actually, no. That's good. This is a good amount of resources to have as a person who likes resources. As an expert in resources myself, this is a good amount of resources to have, personally speaking. Yeah, no. We're not going to do this. Oh my god. I literally blew your chest out. Gruesome ritual murder. Hey. We'll take those. Am I allowed to go down here yet or no? Oh no, this leads to nothing. We don't care about that. I think we found everything. Honestly, I've been very thorough and that was the only area that was blocked off by the flooding except I guess the bridge that we're walking towards now. So I'm not that worried about this. Can we go over here maybe? Oh my god, we can. Never mind, we have to explore. No, we can't. Never mind, we don't have to explore this area. Maybe we can go check out the theme park a little bit, but I think the part, I think the theme park area that is uh, blocked off is. What the heck? Where did those things come from? That was weird. Did you all just see that? Those just fell from the sky. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> um, I think anything that's over here, I think we pretty much, the only thing I can think of is the area by the lake would be receded a little bit, but we'll go check just for posterity, but I think we're good. Like, I think there's nothing there.
Ooh, manuscript page. Never mind, I'm glad we came back. Ilma Koskela stood in front of the small gathering of Coffee World employees and bikers. He read from a piece of paper. Mocha was a wonderful moose who deserves a place of honor in the Hall of the Calavella Knights. His skull will become the crown of the Grand Master. The dead brought back to life. There was polite applause. After the service, Ilmo had the body hauled off to be turned into moose steaks. Mulligan and Thornton were told to get the head cleaned. They both grabbed an antler. What the hell, Thornton? I got it, Mulligan. They brought the skull into the workshop to boil it and bleach it. They grumbled. Wanted to just get it fucking done. It was just a stupid animal. But I guess moose steak is never a mistake, huh? Man, having the dialogue that is like out of context come back in a meaningful way that like gives you more understanding of the setting and like also increases as to increases your knowledge of like why characters said those things in their corrupted forms is so good. It is so compelling. <clears throat> Ah, oh my god! So, that startled me a little bit. I'm not messing around, game. I'm not messing around, and you can't mess around with me. You're not gonna do this to me. Now keep moving. All right, I'm a simple man with simple needs. I was able to do this. Leave me alone, game. Do not mess with me. Thank you. There's a rhyme over here. I was right. This place was less flooded now. The devil with a prize lured the animals too to his boat all shiny and new. Um Brickster maybe there. The deer sailed on, the moose went splash. So, deer goes here, moose goes there. It says all shiny and new. This is shiny. Does the trickster go here? Yes. yes. I'm smart. The trickster is obviously the devil. Okay then. Another charm. Another coffee cup charm, I think. So that's kind of useless, but. That's fine. All right, I think it's time to head back to town. Maybe there's an area in Watery that was like flooded that I didn't, oh, I guess there was like, I guess the yards area in front of some of the buildings we can go explore. This game's special, just immediately. This is really hitting that the Evil Within 2 vibe of just like a, a really special and really unique game that is never going to like deeply, it's, this is never gonna be fully replicated, I don't think. This is a really special game. <clears throat> oh hey, and we're like literally right here, right next to town. This bridge got fixed quick. Let's go over here really quickly just to make sure that there wasn't an area that was flooded over here. This is such a gloomy town. Oh my god. It's like genuinely depressing area to be in. There were some locked things up here, so maybe we should go up there and grab them real quick. Right? There's a locked one. I remember correctly. 
We'll need to go back to um, Cauldron Lake as well to crack open those ones at some point. I don't actually remember if there was one up here. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, you know what? Um, no, we can do this. We can take them. Why isn't it letting me... There we go. I was doing it at the wrong location, I guess. Well, it gave me batteries, so that's good. We can use a trauma patch, why not? Brewing just brought me a Klondike bar. What a mensch. All right, if I remember correctly, there was a box up here that I like couldn't open, right? Yes, right here. Beep. Yes, I will take that. Thank you. Got some stuff back from it at least, so that's not terrible. You can quick cancel that by dodging at that moment. That's nice. Oh, I, I missed that too, and it still let me pick it up. That's nice. I didn't realize that the game was letting me pick up completely missed shots. All right, that's exciting. Uh, I kind of like the shotgun in this game. So this is like, this is kind of a weird thing about me, but I don't generally like shotguns in video games. Like, I don't think that they're very useful. I should never be near enemies ever, so I never use them. But this game has a good shotgun. I like this, it's useful. That's good stuff. I'm not talking about the Klondike bar. I want to go investigate the sauna over here. Oh! the corner as the street lamps flickered and went off it was in front of him a glitching cloud a dark boiling monster looking at it felt like what a stroke must feel like he was sick with fear he fell the dark presence ripped into him swallowed him filled his lungs and his brains with dark water bailey saw a snarling face in the darkness then he realized it was his own face he was snarling he was standing in the street in the dark, and he was snarling. He was snarling, he snarled. The monster was gone. The darkness coiled around him in tatters and wisps. He was the monster now filled with rage. He was the monster now filled with rage, he shouted.
Good to see you. All right, so there is a manuscript page down there. What are these two dinguses doing? Just hanging. Advertising a restaurant in a, in a completely different town across the lake. <clears throat> completely normal behavior. Well, yes, I will take those crossbow bolts. Thank you very much. How are you? Uh, map. Are there any locked doors I can open? I might need to do some inventory management in a second. Whoa, this is an FBC document. Was the person who was here an FBC agent? Experiment PFNR 16 codename Maiden Waiting. Dearest, when are you returning? I've been waiting for so long. I miss you. Send me a letter as soon as you can. It's lonely here and I pine your fair maiden. My dear maiden, I am out of luck and out of means. I'd love to come back home to you soon, but alas, I must gather my strength or my funds first. Don't forget about me. I'll be with you sooner than you think yours truly. Dearest, it pains me to hear you will not be arriving, but I will keep waiting until you do. I can never forget about you. How could I? Interesting. <clears throat> Ranger Cabin Trailer Park Lighthouse. Downtown. Coffee World Watery Woods. Are these all the places? Dang. Kayla says, aren't the FPC the ones making up the rhymes as a way to test how fiction alters reality? Yes, but I, d I thought that this house belonged to someone that we saw standing in front here, and he just looked like a regular person. So it's, like, shocking that this was actually a, an FBC trailer. Just to update you, I hadn't had any successes with setting the stage yet. Even the letters from the characters themselves are no use. Do you have any tips on what I should try ne next? Michaels, junior assistant researcher. There are no results. The propping has been proven to be effective, according to Dr. Campbell. Uh, maybe it's uh, Campbell. Campbell's a doctor now. Wow. I'm pretty sure Campbell was just an assistant in control. Hmm. Huh. Maybe it's something in the rhyme itself. Is it too mature, too direct? Should we add complexity and charm to it? Try some different approaches and get back to me. All right, thanks. I'll try to add some complexity and charm. It's really great use of my master's in applied physics. I, uh, wow. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure Campbell was Dr. Darling's like bumbling assistant. There once was a faithful girl. At home she stayed, and there she prayed. For her lover to return, but he collected fair maidens just as he did. Their stolen riches and broken hearts. Keep trying. Okay, that's not it. <clears throat> so this is a typical story about like, you see it for sailors, you see it for soldiers. Like, the the man goes, he leaves home. And then his wife or whatever waits for him. But then it's not, like, actually, he's not, he's not actually the one for her. He's just, collect, like, he's made multiple relationships or whatever. Uh, and then it ends in heartbreak or whatever. Maybe we don't have the right dolls? 
Because all we have is a mother doll, and that doesn't seem right. Doesn't sound like there's like a maiden or whatever. Oh, here we go. Maiden doll. Okay. Yeah, let's read it. Stayed at home. So the maiden goes here at home. Bro? Hmm. Wow, weird typo there with the back bracket. Uh, why is Elder Doll? That's not right. Oh, um, is it Trickster Doll because he's evil? Okay. Yes. Okay. This is ridiculous. I picked up rifle ammo. That's interesting. That's really interesting. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I am going to have to. I loved it. I had half a mind to come down and start dancing. Oh, why didn't you? You've got to grab life's gifts while you can. Yako, we are going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? <laughs> no, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine like an asshole. Oh dear, I know what Yako needs. I'm a beer to the rescue. Bring out your inner Wolverine with I'm a beer. <laughs> Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. <laughs> At the bar, while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. <laughs> Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. <laughs> In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your pipeli from wandering eyes. <laughs> Partaking in the Finnish tradition of Kalmarikannit, <laughs> drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. <laughs> it's not sad if it's intentional. <gasps> Alma beer, your Finnish drinking adventure starts here. Finland seems like quite the place. <laughs> oh. Oh, whoa. A terrifyingly strange dive into the dark depths of an artist's mind. A film by Thomas Zane, Tom the Poet. Thomas Zane as a diver, Barbara Yeager as the dark presence, Cynthia Weaver as the Lady of the Light, Emile Hartman as the assistant. This is all Alan Wake 1 stuff. Interesting. The dark doppelganger and the art and the life of Thomas Zane. Interesting. Discussing Zane's early career in Finland, his artist commune in Bright Falls, his lost work Tom the Poet, his mysterious disappearance in 1970, playing his own dark double in his films, the poet, the writer, the diver, Thomas the Rhymer. Interesting. Oh, Mr. Drippy Charm. That's not a coffee cup, that's a Mr. Drippy. Uh, so the question is, is there a rifle I could have found? Poor thing. All right, let's go grab that chain, that charm that I, uh, I forgot to grab. <clears throat> or not forgot to grab, but couldn't grab before. That's not where it is. I'm silly.
A charm. Yeah, it's just Perfect another Mr. Drippy bracelet. or whatever. Or not Mr. Drippy, another coffee cup. So, interesting. All right, well, hey. Is that the is that the sign on the back of this for Mr. Tibbles? Certainly gone deaf. Those old folks sure can get loud, huh? I don't mind it. What happened to uh, grab life's gifts while you can? Man, I'm sad. Ati's gone. Oh well. Gotta love him. Ren says, once again, sad that the ads I'm forced to watch aren't the ones made by Remedy. Well, it looks like Kettle just ki clipped it, so you can watch it if you want to. BFFRY, Bright Falls Fins. Man, it's one of those things where I'm like, this is, this is so weird. This is truly a strange thing, but I have never been really... This is going to sound weird because I'm a streamer and I'm a streamer with my own community. But I mean this in the like public sense where I've like I've never really been involved with my local community. I've done local politics. I've like, you know, phone banking and stuff like that and like volunteering. I volunteered for local charity events and stuff, especially a lot growing up. And I lived in a really small town growing up. But I was I was never part of like a local gathering thing like it's interesting because my parents for years were like bartenders at like local clubs. And I, when I say clubs, I don't mean like dance clubs. I mean like the Elks Lodge type clubs, not literally the Elks Lodge, but like clubs like that, where it's like, this is, this was in town since 1928. And all the old people have been coming here since they were 15 before legal drinking was a thing. Like, you know, like that sort of thing. I've just never been involved with the community on this level. And whenever I see like interesting things like this, where it's like a Finns community or like a motorcycle club or whatever, I'm always like, that's interesting. Like kind of wish that my life was that small. Like I wish my life was, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a like literal sense of like, I wish I was able to participate in my local area a little bit more actively, but uh, <clears throat> my interests and my, my, expertise lies here on the internet you know and with a wider group of people um so i don't i don't really participate in local community events like this just because i always feel out of place at them and it's just like doesn't really do anything for me but it's always really interesting for me when i see like games or tv shows or whatever that have such like local like church communities and things like that like it's always fascinating to me just as a thing i've never been able to experience uh that I've just always found like an interesting, I don't know, like an interesting facet of regular reality that I just don't connect with at all. But I've always liked, like I like the aesthetic of it, like especially when it comes to like Twin Peaks, like the roadhouse or like going to a bar every night to hang out with your friend and get known, become a regular somewhere. Like, isn't that just the dream? Like becoming a regular at a place where they know your name. Like, that's just so interesting. I don't know. It's just so far removed from how I interact with the reality uh, in, in society. But, like, I don't know. It's such, like, a warm and fuzzy kind of vibe. And I kind of don't know if that exists anymore. I don't know. It's just, like, it's such, like, an old person, adult aesthetic to me that I can't help but when I see games like this where, where that's, like, a thing. Twin Peaks is another good, good example of this, of a TV show where, like, the community vibe is so big. But I think the through line with a lot of this stuff is it's set in, like, the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s before, you know, Twitter was just the community bar. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I think about it. But I've been thinking about it a lot when I was playing Spider-Man 2 as well. Spider-Man 2 features uh, a lot of focus on, like, community outreach and, like, like Miles, Miles Morales, the second Spider-Man, uh, he is uh, he's like really integrated in, in Harlem and, and with his community and his mother's a councilwoman. And I just think very frequently like, man, like I walk around and I see my neighbors and I just like don't know who they are. And I'm not really interested in knowing who they are. <laughs> Maybe I just don't have it in me to be like a small town person, but just always interesting. It's really, really unique stuff. Just such a vibe, such a unique vibe.
Alan Wake. Hmm. My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. Oh, that's not good. What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Oh, my head's killing me. 13 years of drinking any nothing but water uh, or not drinking water is killing you, Alan. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <sighs> Take it you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in a dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening. What will happen? Dreams. I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. I just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! <laughs> oh, man. Sam Lake is. FBI. We want the writer. No one else needs to get hurt. Fuck off. <laughs> Sam Lake's got such a face. Such a hard boiled looking dude. Hey, what are you doing? said the thing. be sad if Alex Casey dies because he's a cool dude. What's up with that? Return four. No chance. Oh, okay. It switched back to Alan. Very good. This is what I was going to do. Okay, so Casey's alive. That's good. I had escaped the dark place. So had the dark presence. Scratch. He was here in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? Dear God. I gotta get out of here. Okay, so I don't have access to the mind place here because I'm not in the dark place. Actually, I should check. Can I switch back to Saga? I cannot. This is blocking the way. Okay, that's good to know. 
Alan Wake's flannel has been through hell. Let me just say. I needed to find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. Okay, the locked door from the lodge back here. Game's kind of chugging, damn. All well, this volumetric lighting is uh I myself. I got a flashlight. Oh, a rifle. Oh no, it's a shotgun. A gun and flashlight, how nostalgic Alan. You're not supposed to make light of this situation. It's very bad for you. This is not a good thing that's happening. This game is gorgeous. Oh my god. That's Casey. He was still alive. Does Alan's battery recharge? Is that the unique thing about him? That would be great. I don't think it does though. It doesn't. Zero ammo. There's gotta be some though, right? Right? It's the Padme Anakin meme. <laughs> where's the where's the ammo? Give me my ammo. I'm trying to kill this thing. I hit it with both of my shots. Alan just slowly hustling. He's slowly making his way forward. These were the cultists the FBI were after. Were they letting themselves be taken? Or did the Dark Presence not discriminate? Hiddle says grab his stick. Dude, I wish. Man, look at this lighting. This is unreal. This is so good looking. I mean, to be fair, it's actually north light. It's not unreal, but this is phenomenal looking video game. I'm just trying to think of the last video game I saw that looked like this. And I can't think of one. I can't think of a game that looks like this. Because normally when games are about like darkness or whatever, right? They're normally just overwhelmingly dark and even that it's just like hard to see. It's not actual darkness, like black as the color code. It's just like low contrast, hard to make things apart from each other. <clears throat> But this game is just, it's so vibrant. There's so, it's such rich color here. The pressure in my head was unbearable. The scratch was getting closer, stronger than ever. I don't really know where we're going. Just that I'm trying to avoid these enemies. Oh my god. Casey! Look 
Interesting, that's a warp. It warped me to where I need to be. The pressure eased off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey. Valhalla Nursing Home. Casey, I'm coming! Saga. FBI, drop the knife. Is that Tim? Saga, no. Don't understand. FBI, stay down. <gasps> Positive ID. Alan Wade. Agent Anderson. Agent Kira Nesteves, Federal Bureau of Control. Oh my God. Take it from here. Out cold. I think that's Wait. the. This is my case. This is no longer an FBI investigation. The case has been transferred to us. I think that's the person that was referenced in control. Noted. We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff's station. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. You explicitly can. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Wait. My partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. He's my partner, damn it. Agent. Be Go home. Careful moving weight. They think he's a para-utilitarian. He is. No. Fuck this. I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. Oh my god. <laughs> well. Wild.